Configuring Jira Mobile Connect is really easy. Here's a few helpful tips to get you started. This tutorial assumes that you already have the Jira Connect plugin installed on your Jira instance. If you are using Jira On Demand, the plugin, plugin is already installed for you. Firstly, log into your Jira instance and enter administration mode. For purposes of this tutorial, we're going to create a new project, but if you already have an existing project, you can use that. Once you've created your project, scroll to the bottom of the project summary page and locate the Jira Mobile Connect line under Settings. Click Enable. The next thing we need to do is ensure that the user created by the server-side plugin has the Create Issue permission. This is so that all issues are created under the one user and only one seat of your Jira license is used. Navigate to the Permissions tab on your project and edit the permission scheme. Add the Jira Connect user to the Create Issue permission. We're now ready to put the JMC library into your app. Right click on the root of your project and choose Add Files to your project name. Navigate to the repository that you checked out from Bitbucket and add the entire JMC classes folder in the Jira Connect directory. Now that we've added the JMC classes, we need to add some libraries to ensure that things such as location, audio and images work correctly. Click on the project root then on build phases and expand the link binary with libraries section. Add all of the frameworks that are listed in the instructions on Bitbucket. JMC now needs to be invoked in your app delegate so that it launches when your app is launched. Firstly, import the JMC header file. Now it's time to go back to your Jira instance and copy the Objective-C code snippet that was provided when you enabled the plugin. Paste this snippet at the bottom of the did finish launching with options method your app is now connected to your Jira instance. Finally, we have to make sure that JMC has an element in the user interface such as a button or icon that users can touch to create feedback. This can be done by adding a simple line of code to an action within a view controller. The code is provided on the instructions on Bitbucket. We can now successfully run our app in the simulator and check out some of the awesomeness that JMC has to offer. As you can see, the information icon in the top right hand corner of our demo app is where we have chosen to invoke JMC. Here's the feedback screen. Attach audio or annotated screenshots and include some text so the developer knows what the problem is. Send some feedback and it will appear in Jira. It's that simple. If you have any questions or queries, give us a yell at answers.atlassian.com using the chat tag Jira Mobile Connect.